Saurabh Bhagat. I am a data engineer in data ops team. I am a part of Azure squad. I will be explaining you amazing technology that's there but first of all let me tell you why. So I am myself I am a data engineer. I have to keep track of data wherever it goes. I have to keep a steady pipeline and to make that happen I have to keep track of thousands of different files. How, when, where, what changed, what was the problem, what will be the solution that is all a part of our journey. So Darkstar will actually bring a solution to this problem just by orchestrating this whole pipeline. I'll actually explain why I'm bringing you this product. Basically, I myself uh, had this problem with the client as well as I'll give you a uh, real life, real life problem that will correlate to this. So let's imagine that we have money in our hand and I'm passing this money over to a different person and I expect that it reaches the last person as I want it. But in the meantime, somewhere somebody spent that money, where did it go? What was the like situation where it went? So basically, when I keep track of people, I don't know who did what. what. What was the thing that made the money lost? But if I myself keep the track of money, I know where it went. Same situation was with the client. I had a data packet that was originated from the source but never reached the end of the production. It was never there. We tried multiple things. We had to spend like uh, 12 hours a day or even like we still did not find the problem. But with the Darkster itself, we'll keep the track of where the data went. We'll have whatever the position the data was, how it changed, how it uh, actually was transformed to different data and all will be explained with this Darkster. I'll uh, myself show you some uh, visuals with this related to so Let me explain you about Daxter. So Daxter is basically an orchestration tool that works on data assets. I'll more explain you about data assets later on so that you will have a more clarity about it. But let's first jump into the orchestration. So we have seen that uh, what uh, orchestras are. Orchestra is basically a person manipulating and controlling every person behind the instrument. So Darkster actually works like that. It will be an asset. Uh, it will create multiple assets with the coding itself, existing uh, decorator, and it will create uh, basically graph, a DAO basically, that will be not cyclic, first of all, and it will keep track of where the data will be going from the start to the end. The da uh, data will be orchestrated, stored, preserved, tra transformed, analyzed with that set. Let's start with first of all, what if I have like multiple files, right? That is one good question. Now, in multiple files, I have different functions that I will decorate as an asset. This is one of the important part of the access. Here we use different type of assets like this one and all the assets that will be designated will be uh, converted into an asset and then uh, for the final step basically we will materialize all these steps and Darkster will keep the track of where the data is flowing. So assets basically keeps the information about upstream, downstream, uh, whatever the data is coming and what will be the end result of it. Now why don't we jump into a UI explaining how it works. So before we jump into how DAX to change all of that code to this, let's explain what Dagit is. So basically Dagit is a web interface UI that will help us to interact with the Daxter objects. We can visualize them, we can see what time they was ran, what was the outcome they had. All of this information we can easily do with Dagit. So let's talk about these. These are actually Daxter objects. So each of these cards are basically one of the Daxter object that has some input value or is it getting data and there is a downstream value. So we'll see further how it is happening. So when we use that materialize keyword, we are going to click, it, click on the materialize on the Daxter UI and it will actually follow up and launch all of the objects 
and one by one we will see that they are materialized. First of all, these are the one materialized, this one is materialized. And now when the others are getting data, they are all getting materialized. Now let's uh, look at the assets. So all of these assets uh, were the Dexter objects and all of these are the latest ones. When we see one of the assets, we see there is multiple information like parts, what is the source data coming from the other system tags, what was the input, uh, input value, what was the code ID, code version. One of the best thing with the Daxter is we can actually implement the versioning uh, like just we saw. So now let's look at one of these tags. When we go to uh, asset catalogs, we'll see we have the other information plus we have multiple plots, definition, and linear also. We can see from where the data came. If we had a problem here, the other two will not get the data. Let's look at the asset jobs one more time. This was the job ID that was run. And when we look at it, we will see what was the time it took, what was the result for the, what was the execution time, what was the execution result, all of this information. Daxter will keep hold of it. So far, we have seen uh, the implementation, the problem, the solution, and now we will jump into the use cases. So, Daxter, first of all, itself explaining wise, orchestration is one of the best use cases. We have to know what is happening with our code, what is going on with our data. So, first of all, orchestration. When we orchestrate our existing code, we are doing this on the basis of data. So previously I mentioned you, I will come back to the data asset. Now there are two different types of data assets, basically assets. One is data asset, the other is task. The most common used uh, orchestration was task before this Daxter. Now the Daxter itself is using data. How did this change happen? What is the difference? Let's talk about this. Now before Daxter, the most commonly used uh, workflow was task management. Everybody is uh, task oriented. Basically, when we define something in our own organization, we will do it by the task. Like this task should be done, this task is what is uh, on the priority, this is the task that we will be working on. But the Daxter actually changed how it is used. So, for myself as a data engineer, I'm using this Daxter because this basically works around the data, it does not work around the task. What is the task and uh, what is the data that we are using? The Daxter actually ask about the data only. It will not ask what was the task that was conducted for this data. It will ask the data what was the task task it was implemented up. So one of the uh, best use cases was this. The other are basically visualization and debugging processes. Also, one of the best thing we can say about this is it is time saving technology. So when, when I say visualize, we have seen an example of David UI. We can visualize what was the data, how it went, where it went after materializing our objects. When, when I say about time, uh, basically debugging takes like hours of hours. Like I explained that uh, even my, in my client project, I had like 12 hours of debugging. So this actually has somehow reduced the time to almost, almost 60% of it. Now I can like visualize this data and I can see which object is not working properly, where was the data line. Right? So these are the use cases that uh, Daxter has uh, come across with like the technology. We can uh, also talk about uh, what is the existing technologies that are there. So two of these technologies are Airflow and Prefect. Basically, these two technologies are also task oriented, but the uh, Daxter takes over when it is actually better in implementation, easy implementation. When it is uh, working around the data, for the data engineer, it is the best solution. Third thing is, it has multiple uh, integration technologies available like with Jupyter, like Spa, Kafka, uh, Amazon, Azure, anything you can say. Now, the last part is how I have used this uh, technology in my day-to-day -day life. Basically, when I used to debug, there was like uh, issues with where the data went. Now I can implement Daxter in any of the code that I'm writing, and in like few minutes I can tell that this object was the wrong. 
This actually has helped our customers in a lot of different ways. One of the best being the time resource. It has saved them a lot of time. The other part is they, they can visualize it, they can check where their stream went. They can also use these trends and that has helped me in daily tasks in a lot of different ways. One is cutting my time. I, I, have, I do not have to spend like millions of hours to debug it. It has already improved my coding, coding skills. Now I can use it, the UI to visualize everything that I have worked on and uh, keep track of it. Plus this has helped the client as well as uh, myself. Thank you for being there.